Incidentally, we want you to be with us at halftime. We have some fellows coming by we think you'll really be able to hear, interested in hearing from, like John Grayson, the coach of Idaho State, the only team that has beaten Seattle in the last 20 games. Idaho State did it in overtime. Jack Harp, the coach at Kansas, Will Chamberlain's coach. Jack Gardner, the coach at Utah, whose team's played such tremendous games in Lexington in the Invitational Tournament. Kentucky has broken huddle and marched out to the center of court. Kentucky is in the uniforms that they have appeared in in their three NCAA tournament wins, white. And on the other hand, Seattle is in their maroon uniforms in which they have won every NCAA tournament game this season. Seattle, incidentally, last week played a regular season game on Monday, started NCAA playoff play Wednesday, went into regional play Friday and Saturday, flew in here Wednesday from Seattle, Washington. Beck moves in against Elgin Baylor. He's 6'7", one inch taller. We're ready to go. Stand by. Tap goes to Seattle as Baylor taps it over to Ogorek. He hands out deep now to Charlie Brown. Down the right side to Ogorek and back to Brown with Odie Smith on him. In the pivot to Elgin Baylor against Beck. He falls away and misses. Rims out of there. Kentucky's Johnny Cox takes in the rebound. Over to Smith and up to Hatton. So Elgin Baylor gets the first shot of the championship game. Rimming around coming out from 15 feet. Here it is over to Cox. Back to Hatton. Down the left side. Hatton will put it in play. Kentucky has the offensive basket off to our right. The same one they had last night starting against Temple. Here's Beck moving out. The left side of the floor is open. Beck comes out. Hatton moves there to use him as a screen. Here's the jump shot. No good. Krigler taps. No good. Hatton rebounds to the left side. Tries a shot and a foul against Seattle. Kentucky and Seattle NCAA championship. Hatton a two-hand shooter. First one good. Hatton sights now for his second shot. It's up. And no good rolls off right side. Seattle's got it. Don O'Gorick brings it in. Fires over to Charlie Brown. Kentucky sets its man-man defense as Brown gives in front court left side to Harney. Down the side it goes to Frizzell with a whistle from the baseline. A foul goes against Ed Beck. Here's Baylor. He's a one-hand free throw shooter hitting. And the score stands 1-1. Patton whips to Krigler in front court quickly to the baseline at the right. Picked up at the baseline. He walks with it and it's out of bounds to Seattle. So that's Kentucky's first trip down court without getting a shot. Now Seattle moves into the attack. Bringing it down, Jim Harney takes it right side, passes deep to Brown. 25-foot jump shot to the left, no good. Kicks right, Beck takes it off and falls down. Taken away from him by Baylor. A shot by Ogorek is blocked out of bounds. Elgin Baylor to put it in play. Gets the ball from the ref. Bounce pass to Harney on the left side. Out deep to Brown, over to Baylor from 25 feet. In and out. Krigler takes off the rebound simultaneous with Harney. And they'll be on the Seattle free throw line. Here's the toss, the tap on the side. Hatton picks it up on the bounce for Kentucky. The outraced big Elgin Baylor for it. Hatton in front court, fakes a shot, flips over to Odie Smith, knocked down by Brown. Smith picks it up, gives to Hatton to Krigler on the right. Out to Smith, breaking right, goes in, and a foul is called on Smith for charging. Two men, Brown and Harney back in safety. Here's the shot by Frizzell. No good. Baylor tries to tap, but Cox takes it off for Kentucky. Score still 1-1. Krigler gets it in front court. Double teamed. He gets it out to Johnny Cox. Both forwards on the right side. It's out to Beck. Over to Hatton. He moves to the right. Starts down the middle. Has to fight the hold on. Gives to Krigler in the right corner. Shot. No good. Taken off by Seattle. Don O'Gorick takes it in. Both ball clubs. A little tight right at the moment. Have not yet settled down with the score 1-1. Still looking for our first field goal after two minutes, ten seconds have gone off the clock. Harney calls his play. Passes right to uh, Ogorek. He brings it outside. Gives left side. Off the screen. Harney shoots. No good. High to the right. Baylor gets the rebound. Falls away. Whips on one under the basket. And a shot. No good. But a foul is called. Uh, here's Frizzell. Shot good. And 22 seconds. Frizzell second shot good. So Seattle moves in front with three straight points, three to one, all at the free throw line. Neither team with a field goal yet. Here's Hatton in front court. Seattle playing a tight man-to-man -man out front. Here's a break by Cox for the basket, and he's fouled as he jumps to shoot. Seattle leads by two points. Cox can tie. First shot, good. It can tie this 3-2 game. He got it. Dead center. Seattle goes to the attack now, to the basket off to our left. Jim Harney, the 5'10 guard, moves in front court, staying deep to the left. Gives over to Brown, a fake right, a move to the top rim of the circle, whipped to Baylor in the pivot, faces back and shoots, good. Two minutes, 50 seconds, and Seattle leads for the second time by two points at 5-3. to three. In the pivot to Beck, back to Odie Smith driving, and he's blocked beautifully. Fine defensive play by line for the jump. Here's the toss, the tip to Cox. On the left side, he takes the jump shot, in and out. 
Over the head of Krigler. Beck slaps the rebound right to Charlie Brown of Seattle. After three, have got the ball. Kentucky still is not hit from the outside in this tournament. Here's Brown of Seattle hitting from 25 feet straight away. Stay on top, 7-3. to three. Vernon Hatton bringing the Wildcats in front court with a high pivot pass to Beck. Fakes to Hatton, gives out to Smith to Krigler. From the right side, he shoots good. So John Krigler gets Kentucky's first field goal after three minutes, 30 seconds. 7-5, Seattle leads into the pivot to Elgin Baylor. Breaks left, hooks right, no good. Over the rim to Krigler of Kentucky. Moves out of there with it. Passes over to Vernon Hatton. Both teams playing a cautious first few minutes. Here's Hatton in front court with it. Gives over to Odie Smith. Cox just now moving out to the left side. Gets the bounce pass. Gives back to Smith. Looks it back. Gives deep to Hatton. Over to Krigler. Fakes Elgin Baylor. Goes by him. Hooks it back and in. Baylor a fine defensive player. Took him under the basket. Hooked it back. Too high for Baylor to get to. Here it is in the pivot of Baylor. Breaks right on back to the baseline and shoots short. No good. Picked up by Odie Smith in the left corner. Spins away from Elgin Baylor and holds on. Fires up deep to Hatton at midcourt. Down the left side to Krigler in the corner. He sights, breaks by Ogorik. Five men go for him and he lays it in. Cats down by four points have seen John Krigler hit for three straight field goals. Now Charlie Brown of Seattle back in front court. Whips one right side to Baylor in the corner with Krigler on him. He breaks out for the basket. Whips under there. No good by Harney. And a foul is called as Frizzell jumps to shoot. Here's the first try by Frizzell. Good. Has the ball. The six foot four forward shoots good. And we're tied up at nine to nine. Here's Hatton moving in behind Elgin Baylor quickly into front court. Whips a high lob right pass side to Krigler. He takes Baylor to the baseline. And a foul on Elgin Baylor of Seattle for pushing it. Baylor, who hadn't missed a free throw, shoots good to tie the game 10-10. Kentucky leads 3-2 on field goals. Here's Hatton back quickly in front court. Charlie Brown, assigned to him, picks him up. Gives to Krigler, back to Hatton, out deep to Cox. Top of the circle, jump shot, round the rim and out. Picked up by the new man, Francis Saunders of Seattle, over to Baylor. Quickly back to Saunders, who plays with the left side of his face heavily taped. Fractured cheekbone. Outside deep to Charlie Brown now. Left side to Frizzell and back to Brown. Here's the jump shot from the left side. Good. He's fouled by Odie Smith. The goal counts. And shoots no good. Rebounding Adrian Smith. The man who committed the foul. The game still is 12 to 10 for Seattle. Up into front court. Smith to back, back to Smith. 15-foot jump shot. Off to the left. No good. Punched out of bounds by Ed Beck. Don O'Gorick. Passes into Saunders. He moves Seattle back to the attack. After six minutes, they lead 12-10. Out deep with it. Saunders gives to Brown now. 30 feet straight away. Back over to Saunders. High pivot pass to Baylor as he breaks for the basket. He's called for pushing. Here's Beck. Free throw shooting one. Too hard. Hits on the back of the rim and spills out to Baylor. He flips one over to Charlie Brown. And the score remains 12-10 for, for uh, Seattle. Here it is to Elgin Baylor. Deep to the left side with Beck against him. He takes him into the corner. Fakes to break out. Then does all the way wide open. Lays it in. Seattle into its longest, second longest lead. 14-10. Here's Krigler on the right side. Shoots over Baylor. Short. Climbs the board and goes out of bounds. To only one man with a field goal. That's Krigler. He owns all three of them. Here's Frizzell getting to Brown to Baylor in the left corner. He shoots over back. No good. Off the rim. It's rebounded by Ogorik. Wide open. He lays it in. He led by 10-9. to nine. Now we've had Seattle reel off seven points in a row. The Cats having their first uh, slump of this contest. Smith left side to Cox, back to Smith. Hatton goes through, Smith passes to Krigler. He takes a 25-footer short. Beck rebounds and drops it. Hatton slaps deep into the backcourt. Krigler runs it down. Saunders goes for him and misses on it on a slap going by. Over to Smith, up to Hatton. He brings it into front court. Gives over to Smith to Krigler on the right side. He takes Baylor under the basket again. Can't shoot, comes back to shoot. Ball knocked down, Cox takes it in. Getting it away from Brazil to Hatton from 20 feet. No good. Krigler rebounds from 10 feet over Baylor. No good. Beck taps it down, and Saunders takes it for Seattle. They got it 2-2 with Brown off to the left side. Now it goes to Baylor. Facing Beck, turns his back to him now. Odie Smith picks him up. He juggles the ball, holds on without moving his feet, fires high and away to the right side, and Frizzell hits out of the corner. The champion of the NCAA Tournament Committee said the sellout crowds witnessed the 10 doubleheader sessions at each of the four regional sites, too. So we're ready to go back to play. Kentucky is down by eight points. Here's Adrian Smith setting, missing from 15 feet. Beck taps, no good. Krigler rebounds on a Kentucky foul against John Krigler. On the line is Frizzell, who's hit five out of six. The shot, no good. Baylor taps, no good. Beck slaps out to Odie Smith. Kentucky still trailing, 18 to 10. Up in the front court to Vernon Hatton. Right side to Krigler against Elgin Baylor. He drives Baylor back the way and over 
shifted him to the right, shutting Krigler off then. Here's Odie Smith to the right, gives to Beck, fakes to Smith, gives to Cox. 25-foot jump shot is in and out. Cox unable to hit from the outside. Hatton rebounds, goes in against Baylor, and he's fouled. And here's the first shot. Good. Hatton, second shot. Good. And takes Seattle to the left court now. Gives over to Saunders, who moves to the right. Bounce pass down the side to Ogorek. Out deep to Brown, moving to the left. Whips into Baylor on a high pivot. Top rim of the circle. He walks with it. Had Vernon Hatton on him from the rear then as he picked up, moving away from Ed Beck. Odie Smith whips into Hatton now. Kentucky trailing by six points. Has a chance to eat into that lead again. Odie Smith fakes a set shot. Drives to the left. Hands to Cox. Drop the ball. Goes back to the 10-second line to pick it up within about a foot of the... Line. Here it is over to Smith to Cox. Breaks to the right, goes back, hooks it up, no good. Elgin Baylor rebounds for Seattle. They got a two, a three-two fast break. Here's Charlie Brown missing, but he's fouled on the play. It looked like Vernon Hatton on the basket flipped up with the ball laying in there. The first shot, no good by Brown. As he, second shot by Brown is good. And Seattle leads 19 to 12 on Brown's fifth point of the game. Vernon Hatton brings the Cats back to the attack. Down the right side to Krigler. Fakes, drives on Baylor to the basket, hooks it back over him and in. That's four field goals. Krigler has picked up. Charlie Brown of Seattle. Big six foot two guard. Back into front court now. Into the pivot to Elgin Baylor. Faces back. Breaks to the left. Jump shot to the left. No good. Tapped up in the boards twice by Ogorek and three times in. Bring it in for a 21 14 lead for Seattle. Here's Baylor blocking Krigler who falls away and he's fouled. John Krigler on the Kentucky free throw line for two. Here's the first one good. Seconds here in the first half. Hatton and Smith deep. Krigler sights. Second shot good. Seattle leads up into front court. Sanders goes down the left side to Elgin Baylor. Goes into that low crouch and Beck backs away from him. He moves in at the baseline, backs away into the corner, then passes out to Brown. We've just had word from Indianapolis in the finals of their high school tournament. Fort Wayne 63, Crawfordsville 34. That was the cheer you heard go up in the crowd. Baylor in the left corner passes deep now to Francis Saunders. Down the right to Ogoric, back to Saunders. Quick jump shot. High over the rim, no good, goes into the boards, and Baylor taps it in. Elgin Baylor's third field goal. That ball actually hit the top of the backboards. Seattle has an eight-point lead again on Kentucky. They had one at 18-10, now 24-16, now 25-16 as the bonus shot goes through. The Cats having an uphill battle of it here in the first half against Seattle. Hatton breaks into the free throw line, goes deep to Smith to Cox. Here's the jump shot. No good. Taken off by Seattle as Ogorek. Falls it in, gives to Baylor. Kansas State last night after knocking out San Francisco, a highly favored team off the West Coast. Here's Charlie Brown deep. Seattle slowing down the pace of the ball game. Elgin Baylor coming out deep now. Being waved back in. Beck following him. Beck is playing Baylor one-on-one. -on -one. Seattle is going into the stall now, which they did last night against Kansas State. When they open up a lead, Brown from 20 feet hits. A jump shot has three field goals along with Elgin Baylor, and Seattle leads 27-16. Seattle goes in front by 11 now. Here's Cox on the left side giving to Hatton. Kentucky still shooting from the outside. Hatton hits. That's Hatton's first field goal of the game and only the fifth for the Wildcats. Seattle coach Costellani waving slow it down, slow it down with a 27-18 lead. Here it is into the pivot to Ogorek. He fakes Cox, falls away, and he got it. That's Ogorek's second field goal and Seattle leads 29-18. Odie Smith in front court to Krigler, outside to Hatton. Fakes O'Gorick, picked up by Charlie Brown, by Baylor, but he lays it in. Elgin Baylor gets the incoming pass and walked over the line. Baylor caught it one step in front court and took a step in back court. So Kentucky gets it out of bounds on a, what you might call a sleeping situation. Elgin Baylor still on Ed Beck defensively. Here's Cox out of the double pivot, driving to lay it in. It's at 29-22. The Cats apparently at this time out of elected to go to the double pivot, which is what they ran from there with Cox spinning going in for a dead trip shot. Elgin Baylor has three personals on him, and he uh, is not playing defense at the moment. Here's uh, Saunders working it back and forth. Seattle went into a freeze last night. Kansas State went into the panic. Now that's apparently what they're going to try to accomplish here. Elgin Baylor backing back in toward the basket, then passes out deep to Brown. Seattle just holding the ball out of play now. The fans are beginning to get on them, booing them for the inactivity. Baylor out deep to the left side, has Beck on him, just toying with the ball. He is out deep now to Frizzell and over to Charlie Brown, standing right on the rim of the center court jump circle. Seattle attacks the basket off to our left. 
here at Freedom Hall, Louisville. Just Tom timing the ball. Vernon Hatton playing a normal defensive position against Brown in case he should uh, want to break. Kentucky not putting tremendous pressure on them, but yet holding uh, their feet to the fire, keeping them honest, as the players would say. Here's Brown moving into the right corner now. Seattle leads 29-22 as we go into the last six minutes of the first half. Elgin Baylor has it out deep in the center court jump circle within about two feet of the 10-second line. Ed back on him. Baylor takes it down the right side. Beck stays right with him, not attempting to get the ball, just keeping him honest. Over it goes to the left side to O'Gorick. He hooks it up. No good. Short. Kentucky's got it as Ed Beck picks it up on the bounce. Gives it up to Odie Smith, the Krigler, in front court. Off the right side to Hatton. Fakes a shot and is fouled by Charlie Brown of Seattle. Drawing his second. Hatton shooting the free throw. Good. Hatton sights for the bonus try. It's good. Pick up a field goal by Cox. Two free throws by Hatton. In front court, Charlie Brown gives to Francis Saunders. Out deep, holding the ball away. Moving to the right side, Cody Smith ran into a block. It was set for him. So Frizzell gets the free throw with a bonus shot effective. It's good. Now Frizzell's bonus shot, good. So Seattle picks up two points and a 31-24 lead. Hatton in front court, fakes to Smith. Saunders, uh, Brown playing him closely to Saunders. Now it is back to Hatton. Down the right to Beck, who takes Baylor off of the pivot to the right side. Gives over to Hatton. Breaks in on Baylor and lays it in good. Playing defense, he does absolutely nothing. He doesn't even jump to block the shot. So with three personals, he's apparently going to be strictly an offensive player. Brown floats one up no good and missed. Baylor taps no good. Cox takes it off, quips to Krigler. A 3-2 break. Hatton goes through. Krigler gives to Cox. He takes the jump shot. No good. Hatton knocks it down, and Cox picks it up out of the right corner. It's good. Within three, four and a half minutes to play. In first half of this NCAA championship game at Louisville. Jerry Frizzell has the ball out deep, gives to Charlie Brown. Straight away deep, Elgin Baylor in the pivot at the free throw line. Beck arms out in behind him. Not touching, no contact in that pivot as the ball is held outside by Charlie Brown, just palm timing it. When Seattle was playing ball, they got an 11 point lead. Since they've gone into their cat and mouse game or their stall, they've lost all but three of it. Baylor turns, shoots, misses. Cox rebounds for Kentucky. Shoots the top to Odie Smith. Drives in front court for the free throw line. Gives back to Hatton. Fakes a shot on Saunders. Goes right down the middle and misses. The Kentucky free throw line. Three minutes, 42 seconds in the first half. The tap to Cox, who got it away from Charlie Brown, or, or rather or Saunders, over to Smith, down the right to Krigler. Moves out from 10 feet, is fouled by O'Gorick. From shooting, 334 in the first half. Here's Krieg's first free throw, no good. Her second shot, in and out. Krigler missing two free throws. A chance to close that gap to one now has gone out the window as Baylor gets the rebound for Seattle. Over to Charlie Brown in front court on the right side to O'Gorick. Quipped to Baylor in the pivot. Knocked away by Beck. And uh, O'Gorick clipped Hatton going for the ball so it could be picked up outside by Brown. No good as Kentucky has missed three straight free throws. Back in the front court as Seattle gets the rebound. Charlie Brown. Odie Smith loosens up a bit as he breaks down to the baseline. Jump shot over the rim and out into the alley. Baylor tapped twice. No good. O'Gorick no good. Baylor slapped deep now to Saunders. Whips it over to O'Gorick and back to Saunders. Seattle leads 33-32. Here's Baylor. Breaks in. Whips off the left side to Frizzell and deep to Brown. O'Gorick goes to the pivot, but the pass is over to Saunders. In the pivot to Baylor. 15-foot jumper. Good. And oh, with two minutes to go in the first half of the championship game here in Louisville. Odie Smith to the right. Gives to Beck. He fakes Baylor, then gives out to Hatton from 25 feet wide open. He missed it. And as Beck tapped it out, he pushes. That's Beck's third foul. Baylor has not missed a free throw. The bonus will in effect. The shot's good. Trailed by four. Twice down by 11. Bonus shot good. And Seattle goes in front by five. 37-32. We have Don Mills in the pivot against Elgin Baylor now. This is the first time Mills has been in action here in Louisville. Collinsworth was the only substitute last night. Hatton right side gets Baylor on him, who didn't even jump. Gave him the shot. Hatton missed it. Taking it off is Seattle's Don O'Gorick. Elgin Baylor then was going to give Vernon Hatton two points. Wide open trip shot. Vernon did not get the contact apparently that he expected. Here's Baylor missing from 25 feet. Tap in though on the side by Frizzell. Third field goal and now Seattle leads 39-32. 
Cody Smith in front court. Gives to Mills on the right. Back to Smith. 20-foot jump shot. Good. 39-34. We got a minute to play now in this first half. Saunders has got it for Seattle. Out deep to the left. Over to Charlie Brown. Looks at the clock but can't see it from his position as it hangs directly above the center of the court. Elgin Baylor keeping his hands up against Don Mills. Here it goes over now to O'Gorick, and Seattle apparently is going to freeze it for one shot. Baylor moves out into a screening position. Cox plays the screen to see which way O'Gorick wants to go. High pass to Baylor. Smith picks up on him and ties him up beautifully. Odie Smith drops. Now here's Baylor with six inches advantage on Odie Smith, trying to tap it in and missing, and the rebound taken by Johnny Cox. Vernon Hatton wide open, and Cox dropped the ball in backcourt. 20 seconds now in the first half. Kentucky wants one shot, trailing five, 39-34. Coach Adolph Rupp even standing off the bench to make sure they understand. Of course, the disadvantage here is the clock is over their head. They can't see. Mills from 10 feet shoots good. Don Mills is the first substitute. Elgin Baylor shoots from 25 feet. No good. First half's over. So it is Seattle, 39. Kentucky 36, and these Wildcats have had their back to the wall, but they're battling to come out. They've been down twice by 11 points, but at the moment, they're only three back, 39-36, as we complete the first half of our championship game.
Judson. Into Mills, from 15 feet he misses. Everything. And Baylor takes it off for Seattle, up in front court. The pass to Frizzell, flipped to Brown on the left side against Odie Smith. He whips under the basket to Gogorik, who lays it in. Vernon Hatton leads the Cats back on the attack. Left side to Cox. Over Baylor. He shoots. No good. Krigler slaps. No good. Mills taps. No good. Taken off by Johnny Cox. Brought outside. Giving to Hatton. They leave him open from 20 feet. And Cox misses again. This time the ball is over the backboard. And now Kentucky trails by four as they go back defensively. To this court to our right. The Seattle offensive court. And the pivot to Baylor. One bounce dribble. Jump shot over Mills is short. Comes off the rim to Krigler of Kentucky. He gives it up to Adrian Smith. We got 13 and a half minutes to play. Here it is over to Hatton to the right. He takes it down wide open and lays it in. Jim Harney, the 5'10 Seattle guard in front court. Easing down the right side. Out deep to Charlie Brown. 25 foot pass in on the baseline to Baylor. He lays it up and is fouled by Don Mills. Shooting two. First shot good. A six field goal. Six, five free throws. Now number six goes in. Hatton in front court. Moving to the left, staying deep. Cox has got Baylor on him. So Hatton moves down, Cox moves out, gets the pass. He's open and shoots. Good. And the Wildcats come back within two once again. In front court, Harney feeds right side to Frizzell and back to Harney against Hatton. Out deep to Charlie Brown against Odie Smith. Hatton switches on him as he goes to the baseline, tries to come back and in, does, lays it in. Good. So Brown, a one-hand shooter, hits. And the Chieftains from Seattle are in front. Here's Cox on the left side. He's got Elgin Baylor on him now. Working it back and forth with Smith over to the right to Hatton to Krigler in the corner. Back to Hatton, back to Krigler, out to Smith. Krigler goes to the right, picks up Charlie Brown, gives back to Cox. As Elgin Baylor just plays the baseline. Goes out to get Hatton, who shoots no good from the outside. Tapped up by Mills, by Krigler, by Mills, no good, and Krigler takes it off. Turns and lays it up, no good. But a foul is called on Seattle. Here's Krigler's first shot. No good. Sent them on top. Now Krigler breaks the string. As he hits the second one, he is off the pace. Four points. Harney in front court works right side. Passing to Ogorik. Outside to Harney. Breaks on Hatton and takes a 10-footer that's in and out. Slapped by Ogorik. No good. Taken off by Kentucky as Krigler rebounds. Shoots a bounce pass over to Odie Smith. Takes it quickly in the front court. Gives to Hatton. Breaks to the basket on Brown. He's cut off by Frizzell. Gives out to Smith. To Cox in the right corner. The jump shot. Good. 53-51. 11 and a half minutes to play. Charlie Brown of Seattle, deep moving to the right. Just Tom timing the ball now. Between his legs with a dribble as he breaks down to the right side, Cox switches off on him. He peels one off to O'Gorick at the baseline. One bounce dribble as Cox picks him up on the switch. Gorick bounces one out to Charlie Brown. Brown moving to the top rim of the circle, gives back to O'Gorick on the right side. Mills keeping the right hand out in front of Elgin Baylor in the pivot on the left side. Jump shot by Frizzell is no good. Krigler rebounds. The Cats are running. 4-3. Krigler in front court. Gives to Mills from 10 feet. He missed it. Out to Adrian Smith from 15 feet. No good. Mills goes for it, but it's out to Smith on the rebound with the bounce. Johnny Cox moving into the right corner as Hatton gets it over to Cox on the right side. Jump shot over the rim and off. No good. Wildcats saying goodbye to that long line of seniors here tonight. Bounce pass in on the pivot to Mills. Jostled around. He gives out to Hatton to Smith. Back to Hatton. Faking to the left. Hatton just holding the ball out of play. Hands deep to Odie Smith now. Moves to the left. Gives a pass to Cox. They've taken Baylor off of Cox and playing Baylor just at the baseline. Outside to Odie Smith now, deep to Vernon Hatton, right side to Krigler. Cox comes to the right corner, gets it. Picking him up quickly as Frizzell. Over to Hatton from 20 feet. He shoots no good. Looks, this is his first appearance at the line in the second half with 9 minutes, 18 seconds to go. Hatton's free throw, good. 5'10", Jim Harney. Moves Seattle to the attack in front court. Out deep to Charlie Brown. He breaks down the left side, 10 feet away. Takes a jump shot, no good. Glances off of the rim. John Krigler whips the rebound away from Elgin Baylor. Survives an attack from Charlie Brown. Pivots, looks for somebody open, gives to Odie Smith right under the Seattle basket. He races Charlie Brown into front court with it to set it up for Kentucky. The Wildcats now have their chance to tie it up. It's over to Vernon Hatton, back to Smith. Left side to Johnny Cox. He takes the jump shot. Good. For the first time in the second half, 56 all. Charlie Brown of Seattle, straight away deep. Watches Baylor on the pivot, playing with those four personal fouls against Don Mills. And it goes to Baylor. He turns and shoots over Mills. No good. Don Mills hooks in the rebound. Gives to Odie Smith. And Kentucky's got possession with eight minutes, 20 seconds to go. Whips in front court to Hatton. 
Don Mills in the pivot, raises the right hand as Baylor, picks him up. Now it's Odie Smith coming in behind Hatton to get the pass. Returns to Hatton to the left and out deep. Cox saying something to Krigler in the left corner, waving him out of there. The pass is over to Cox. He's got Ogorik on him. Gives out to Smith over to Hatton. Deep to the right side, passing to Smith straight away. Back to Hatton now. Kentucky having trouble getting its offense set just the way they want it. Over to Johnny Cox and out to Smith. Down the left side to Hatton. He takes 20-foot jump shot that's blocked beautifully by Seattle's little Jim Harney. Whipped up in the front court now, breaking down the right side is Ogorik against Adrian Smith. As Seattle with a score tied 56 all has taken possession back without a Kentucky shot. Here's Brown of Seattle. Whips one from 20 feet. Good. Seven and a half minutes to play. Vernon Hatton in front court looks at Mills in the pivot with Baylor on him. Over to Cox. 25-footer. Again good. 58 all. Now Seattle goes back to the attack to try to once again take the lead. Whipped into the pivot. Here's a foul going against Kentucky's Johnny Cox. The free throw good. The left foot slightly back. Harney and Brown in safety as he shoots. Good. He's trying once again to tie it up. Johnny Cox has done it twice with that outside one-hand jump shot. Both times from the left side. Smith to Hatton out deep. Cox playing the left side. Here's over to Krigler. Back to Hatton. A 25-footer. It's no good in and out. Beautiful rebound by Don Mills. A jump shot's no good, but he's fouled on the play. It goes against Ogorik of Seattle, his third. In NCAA championship. First shot, no good. Playing in a championship game his first time out. Mills got it. Hit the front of the rim and dropped over. So the Seattle lead is one point. Up into front court now, Harney. Three fingers up on the left hand to indicate the play situation. Gives right side to Elgin Baylor with Johnny Cox on him to the outside on the right. He takes a one-bounce dribble and whips across the front lines to Harney and out to Brown. Brown moves to the left. Hatton switches off on him as he backs away now. Seattle leads 60 to 59 and the pivot to Ogorik against Don Mills. He juggles the ball. Whips one in there beautifully to Harney who lays it up. No good. Johnny Cox rebounding beautifully. Over to Adrian Smith. In front court to Hatton. Kentucky trailing by one point has a chance to take the lead for the first time. A hook by Mills is good. Don Mills hooked it in over Elgin Baylor. And Seattle is on the short end of the score for the first time this second half. 61-60 Kentucky. How familiar that looks with five minutes, 50 seconds to go. In the pivot to Elgin Baylor. Hatton drops back in front of him and he turns to shoot. No good. Adrian Smith rebounds. Holds on against Charlie Brown. Races to the right. Has Krigler trailing him as he moves up the backcourt. Over the center stripe. Gives over to Vernon Hatton, right side to Krigler. Looks in that pivot, gives back to Hatton, fakes to the pivot, gives to Krigler in the right corner. Krigler back out to Odie Smith. Left side to Cox, in the corner to Hatton. Jump shot is short, bounces over. Krigler, no good, a fight for the ball out of bounds. Kentucky. Five minutes, 20 seconds to play. Over the baseline to the left of the basket. Calls Hike. The pass in deep to Cox. 20-foot jump shot, good. Johnny Cox gets his ninth field goal. And timeout Seattle is being changed to bring in Francis Saunders. For Jim Harney, the 5'10 guard, giving Seattle four more inches of height. Here they go back to play now. Saunders deep to Charlie Brown. 25-foot jump shot gets off the rim, and Johnny Cox has got it for Kentucky. Cox catching that ball right in under the rim at the net as the shot was short. Over to Woody Smith, who moves past the 10-second line. Bounce pass down the right to Krigler. Moves out, gives to Vernon Hatton. Left side to Cox in the corner to Smith. Back to Cox with a foul. Making his first appearance at the second half. Shoots good. The score, Kentucky 64. Seattle 60. Championship of the NCAA with four and a half minutes to go. Whip to Elgin Baylor. He takes it off to the right side and walks with it. It's out of bounds to Kentucky. In from Cox to Smith. Stand by. Here's the first shot. Good. Looks good. Short. No good. Tap back by Cox. Hatton shoots good. Quick jump shot. Four minutes and eight seconds to go. Saunders up Seattle in front court. Cut off in the pivot. Intended for Baylor. Cut off beautifully by Don Mills. Over to Odie Smith. Knocked away out of bounds off Smith's foot. And Seattle has got the ball. It goes in quickly to Saunders of Seattle. Down the right side. He passes out deep to Harney. Wide open. From 20 feet he hits. Harney's first point of the ball game. Narrows the Kentucky lead to five points. 67-62. Don Mills in the right corner. Out to Krigler. Deep to Smith. Over to Hatton. He fakes. Breaks from 10 feet. No good with a foul on the play against Seattle's first try. Good. Here it is. 
No good. And Baylor rebounds for Seattle as Kentucky's lead stands 68-62 with three and a half minutes to play. Up in front court, Charlie Brown from 25 feet. Misses. Off the left side, Elgin Baylor rebounds for the Chieftains in the corner. Breaks out and shoots. No good. Rolled off. Johnny Cox has the rebound. Dropped it. Johnny Krigler picked it up. Double team whips to Cox. Elgin Baylor took it away from him. Goes in. Takes a jump shot that's good. And a foul against Kentucky. Goal count. Can the Wildcats do it? Here we go with Baylor's free throw. Good. Seattle's within three points at seat. Gets into front court. Takes it down the right side. Passes out deep to Don Mills and quickly back to Hatton. Down the right side to Mills. Breaks against Baylor. Jump shot. No good. Rolled out. Krigler rebounds. Knocked away from him. Picked up by Mills. Whips to Cox. Cox holds it on the left side. Deep bounce pass over to Smith. To Hatton from 10 feet. Good. 10-foot jump shot puts Kentucky out on top. 70 to 65. 2.45 to play. Saunders to Charlie Brown. 25-foot jump shot. No good. Off with it is Johnny Cox, and he's immediately fouled. Action. Johnny Cox is on the line. The shot. Good. As Cox stands in. Here's the shot. It's good. The score is Kentucky 72, Seattle 65. Back to the attack quickly as Charlie Brown in front court yelling to Baylor as he feeds him on the left side. Jump shot by Baylor is good. As Baylor pumps in his ninth field goal to match Johnny Cox. They're in a full court press. High pass from Smith to Hatton moving in front court. Kentucky's leads. Hatton on the line for big ones. A two-hand shooter. The shot, good. Two minutes, 22 seconds to play. Hatton sights. Here's the bonus shot, good. The score is Kentucky 74. Seattle 67 as the Cats open at the 7. Saunders in front court for Seattle. Whips over to Harney. Takes a 25-foot set that's good. As Harney hits from the outside, his second field goal, both coming in the clutch. Hatton gets the pass. He's... The bonus rule applies against both teams. Here's Smith shooting. No good. Seattle's got it, as this one may pay off for them. Brown whips to Saunders. Moving in front court down the right side. No change in either lineup. The pass is in backcourt to Saunders as we go into the last two minutes. Here it is to Charlie Brown on the right side. Takes it to the corner. Here's the jump shot, and it's no good. Don Mills rebounds. Picked up by Odie Smith. Over to Johnny Cox. Two men go for him. Cox gives a high pass across court to Krigler. To Odie Smith. Still in backcourt is Saunders. Uh, brother. Kentucky leads by five points in the championship game. The shot good. Lead. Hatton yells over to Krigler as shot's good again by Odie Smith. And Kentucky leads 76 to 69. Francis Saunders of Seattle in front court down the right side. Passes in the corner to Harney. Harney moves up the left side. Fakes can't get it into Baylor in the pivot. Now here's a high pass knocked away beautifully by Don Mills. Baylor shooting. Shot. No good. High beautiful rebound by Johnny Cox who went way high in the air. In back court, he lobs a high pass to John Krigler, who brings it over the center stripe. Drives, gives to Hatton in the right corner. He fakes a shot. Double team, looks for somebody open, passes deep to Cox, but a foul before he can get it away. Sighting. Up from between the knees. Good. And here's Byrne for the bonus shot. Looks good. Is good. Kentucky 78, Seattle 69. Up in the front court is the new man, Piasecki. Gives over to Saunders. Waves it, gives it in. Intended for Baylor. Cut off by Odie Smith of Kentucky. Double teamed in backcourt. Gets by everybody fighting his way in the front court. Whips under the basket to Don Mills who lays it in. Kentucky leads 80 to 69. Here's it whipped over to the left side. Oh, Frizzell jumps to shoot. Who has a string of five straight going. 50 seconds to play. The shot good. Stands in now for his second. Second shot short, no good. Rebounding Seattle's Francis Saunders. In the left corner to Elgin Baylor against Johnny Cox. A jump shot, no good. Cox hooks the rebound in. Drops it in. Baylor picks it up at the baseline in the left corner. Hooks it out to Saunders. A 20-footer. It's in and out. Rebounding Don Mills of Kentucky. Whips a pass out to Odie Smith. The Cats are running. Three on two. Smith to the left side. Drives. Misses. Hatton rebounds. And it's taken away. From Bernard Hatton moves in against... Francis Saunders, here's the tap to Don Mills. Under the basket, Cox lays it in. Johnny Cox gets his 10th field goal. He leads Elgin Baylor in that department. Here it is under the basket to Frizzell. Or rather, check us, yes, Frizzell laying in his first field goal of the second half. Kentucky is on top now, 82-72. Here it is to Don Mills, whips it over. Vernon Hatton jumps, lays it in. And for Vernon Hatton, that's his eighth field goal. There are only five seconds to go. Kentucky has a 12-point lead. Elgin Baylor takes the last shot of the ball game. No good. And the pay boy, the national champion, Kentucky Wildcats. Don Mills being mobbed by Kentucky partisans. Vernon Hatton, everybody pours out on the floor from the Kentucky bench. There are flash bulbs going off that almost blind you as Adolph Rupp digs his way through the crowd, finds Johnny Costellani in center floor. 
gives him a big hug. Both coaches slap each other on the back and part quickly as every move Adolph Rupp makes is being recorded by movies and still cameras. There is a mob scene under the Kentucky basket off to our right as handshakes go around. The first guy to congratulate Adolph Rupp is Earl Atkins, who went out, gave him a big handshake, a pat on the back. Vernon Hatton's total is 28 points. Here's uh, John uh, Harold Ross up on the basket, cutting the nets off. Man, this is an old-time celebration. You know, it used to be Kentucky would take the national championship, and there would hardly be a ruffle in the crowd. But now, after the long drought that dates back to 1951, Coach Adolph Rupp has come through to do it with what many consider to be one of his weakest teams. But these guys sure weren't weak in this tournament. Vernon Hatton, 28 points. And 24 for Johnny Cox. Johnny got 22 last night. Now we're going to have the presentation. Let's give you the other scoring while we're getting it all lined up. Seven points for Adrian Smith. Four field goals, three out of five on the free throw line. For John Krigler tonight, who came back with a fine ball game and 14 points. He had 11 of the 14 in the first half when he carried the Cats in the early going as they had trouble getting started. Krigler, five field goals, four free throws in seven tries. Nine points for Don Mills as Ed Beck in the pivot was shut out, committing his fourth foul. He came out of the game with no points, and Mills came in to pick up nine and do a tremendous job for a sophomore. Let's check on Elgin Baylor now. He finished second in scoring. He got 25 points, nine field goals, and on the free throw line, seven for nine. Elgin Baylor, 25 points tonight. Still gives him... Better than 940 points for the season. Kentucky for the ball game still was outshot percentage-wise. Kentucky hit 41.2% and Seattle hit 42.4.